Okay, this film is a uh, Gattaca, and it's it's all about how your your DNA uh, is going to affect your outcomes in life. Uh, how only people with perfect DNA for certain tasks will be allowed to to basically exist. It's uh, it's quite an interesting film. Antonio's sperm. After screening, we are left, as you see, with two healthy boys and two very healthy girls. Naturally, no critical predispositions to any of the major inheritable diseases. All that remains is to select... Pause. The yeah, I mean, genetics can only tell you so much. Obviously, there are certain conditions that you can test for. Things like uh, breast cancer, in some forms, can be uh, greatly influenced by your genetic makeup. I'm not entirely sure you can you can just look at someone's DNA and that gives you the perfect answer of, of what, what they're going to be like. What about colour of hair, colour of eyes, for example? Colour of hair and colour of eyes, a lot more predictable. Um, that's under a, the control of a relatively small number of genes. So you could look at them and you could, you could get a fairly good impression of what someone's hair and eye colour is going to be like. Congratulations. Well, what about the interview? That was it. And um, pause. Yes, uh, a, a urine test. Firstly, I would say that you can get DNA from urine. It's not a great source of, uh, of DNA, but it's possible. And we, we've done it quite a few times. Uh, we once got asked to uh, get a DNA profile from an individual who was leaving themselves in the company's kettle. Not our company's kettle, but another company's kettle. And uh, yeah, we got a, a fairly nice profile and uh, we were able to identify the individual concerned. Does that mean that everyone else in the company had to do a DNA test? Uh, most people were very happy to give a DNA sample to prove it wasn't them. One individual was not happy to give the DNA sample and left the company. So, <laughs> I, I'll let you draw your own conclusions from that. And why is it tricky to get DNA from urine? It's not a great source of DNA. There are lots of other things in urine um, uh, which can prevent you getting a, a good quality DNA. It's absolutely, it, in terms of biological materials, it's not the best, but I think there are worse. What are the best? Best, or oh, buckle swabs are absolutely fantastic for getting DNA. Uh, uh, they're just swabs from the inside of your, your cheek. Um, any kind of tissue, um, hair roots are absolutely brilliant. We've got DNA profiles from just about every tissue uh, that you can think of. Gattaca is, I would say, actually quite thought-provoking, quite authentic. I think the point of it is not necessarily it's scientifically accurate. It's more the uh, questions it raises.